That's it. I'm done. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and I've been thinking about this one for a while. Uh, so, a couple weeks ago, uh, maybe three, four, five weeks ago now at this point, uh, they, they passed some gun control at the federal level. Nothing super major, but really the first gun control has been passed in a long time. And there were several Republicans, of course, who got in line and voted with it in order for it to pass. And at this point, I am just done with the GOP. The GOP at large has a long history of promising one thing and delivering another. I don't know if everyone remembers the Obamacare uh, deal, but they said, hey, we're going to repeal Obamacare just to get us elected. We're going to get this thing repealed. And we did as a people. We elected them to repeal it. And did they repeal it? No. No, they didn't. First of all, they got elected. Then they said, okay, we're going to repeal and replace. And I remember thinking, wait a second. What's this replace business? Like, who, whoever said that? No one ever wanted to replace. We elected you because you said you were going to repeal it. And then they couldn't even repeal it. All they did was take out the part that said you're going to get uh, taxed if you don't have health insurance, right? Those group of liars and cowards and weaklings are unable to actually do anything. Furthermore, it's always the Republicans who enact more gun control and enact less freedom. Donald Trump here is a shining example um, who instituted his executive order on bump stock ban, which is still going through the courts, which is completely stupid. He also, let's not forget, made it illegal for people under the age of 21 to buy tobacco and then bragged about it, which of course is just obscene and useless and stupid and provides no value to actual Americans in their everyday life. In fact, all it does is restrict your choices as an adult. Yet people still walk around and they're super enthusiastic about Trump and they're super enthusiastic about we're going to have a red wave this, this election cycle and everything's going to be different. Nothing is going to be different. I am done voting for people who will just promise me one thing and then do another, who have no actual courage to actually accomplish things. Now, granted, there are some exceptions to that rule. Rand Paul, Thomas Massey being a couple of them. There are definitely some people out there who are worth voting despite the fact they are in the Republican Party. And if I lived in their districts, I would most certainly vote for those people. However, by and large, this whole idea that we need to vote for the Republicans, because if we vote for the Democrats, it's just going to get worse. You know, I mean, it's bad, but it's not as bad as these guys. So you should just vote for the less bad party. I am done with that entire line of thinking. Uh, I understood that line of thinking when it was Trump versus Hillary. And sure, I might have even been convinced by it at the time. However, I no longer view that as a valid argument. And the reason being that the Republicans aren't doing anything good. You could either vote for person A who will take away your rights, or you can vote for person B who will take away your rights. Which one would you like to vote for? And when that decision is that simple, I'm done playing the game. And people can throw up their hands and say, well, that means the Democrats will get elected and it's gonna get worse because you're gonna split the vote. I don't care because at this point, they're not doing anything to actually conserve America. Uh, they're not conserving anything. They're simply selling away everything slowly. So I would rather the Democrats take it all away quickly and we can see where that goes. Or hopefully we can learn to punish the idiots who are cowards and weaklings and do nothing for your rights and get people in there who will do something for your rights. It's worth considering, but I would strongly urge you to no longer accept the vote for the lesser of two evils argument because it's still leading us towards evil. Do brave deeds and endure.